Tens of thousands of New York tenants could soon be without a home after the state's eviction moratorium ended on Saturday. In New York City alone, there are nearly 200,000 pending eviction cases. But according to a recent article in the city, there is help available for many of those tenants and they should not panic or move out just yet. Let's bring in the author of that piece, Rachel Holiday smith uh, Rachel, good to see you. So explain, why did Governor Kathy Hochul allow this moratorium to expire? Yeah, it was really just time for it to end, um, you know, according to what we were hearing from uh, sources who are aware of what Kathy Hochul's thinking in it is, and as well, um, state lawmakers. It's really um, takes two to tango to let this um, end, and state lawmakers and the governor just made the decision that it is time to let this lapse. Um, I should say that um, there are a couple of big housing fights coming up, and I'm hearing from tenant advocates who say, you know, we're going to save our firepower for um, some upcoming legislation that will protect tenants in different ways. And the after two years, you know, this pandemic era eviction moratorium will end, did end on Saturday. And so you've heard from uh, tenant rights associations, but what about landlords? What are they saying? Yeah, they were pushing for this to end for many months. Um, they are glad that this has now ended. Um, they have said it is time. It is, you know, outrageous to allow this to continue when, you know, certain landlords are dealing with um, recalcitrant tenants, tenants who haven't paid their rent in many, many months, landlords who are losing money. Um, so landlords are certainly happy about this move. Yeah, I mean, uh, there are two sides to this equation, right? Obviously, the people who uh, need a place to live um, and who may have lost their jobs um, or have had, you know, even worse due to the pandemic and the tenants uh, and the and the landlords who, you know, have a bank to pay um, and also are facing the very same circumstances and challenges that all Americans are facing. Um, but if there are to be evictions, uh, how will that play out and when could we see that happen? Sure. So today is the first day that it's a business day. So it's the first day that evictions, you know, that were subject to this moratorium may actually happen. But I should say that um, all the housing attorneys that I spoke with said that this is not going to be a huge wave of evictions this week. It's not like all of the people who have had eviction cases pending for the past two years will be kicked out of their homes this week. It's actually going to take quite a while to go through all of these cases, even before the pandemic. Um, it could take two or three months, I've heard, for an eviction case to go from beginning to end. And the backlog in the, the, the courts has become even more intense because there are so many cases. Um, in that piece that I wrote recently, um, I reported that, you know, 30, it's the amount of eviction cases for residential non-payment, which is the bulk, um, has gone up 31 percent since the beginning of the pandemic. So we're seeing a huge increase um, in cases that have been filed. And it's going to take a long time, a long time for those to make their way through the courts. So what should a renter do if they have received an eviction notice? Yeah. So the first thing that housing tenants, uh, housing attorneys rather say is don't self evict, meaning you don't have to leave until a marshal is at your door, which can take some time. So, you know, even if you get those court papers, you don't have to leave. Um, and there's also something that tenants should be aware of that is a relatively new law in New York City, which is that they can actually get um, legal help. Um, that is new uh, in housing court. People used to not have representation automatically. And now if you make less than 200 percent of the federal pottery limit, um, you can actually get an attorney in housing court. Um, we've reported on that many times. That's going to really change the game for low income tenants. Um, so people should know that they actually can get an attorney. Most folks who are going to be facing eviction can get an attorney um, and that even though you get those court papers and it may feel very scary, you do not have to move out immediately and you should just seek uh, legal help. And what sort of public resources are, are available to uh, New Yorkers that are facing eviction? Yeah, there are resources, but I, everyone I spoke with who deals with these resources says they're few and far between the pool of money available to folks is has dried up or is drying up. Um, but, you know, there's certainly the emergency um, tenant relief uh, um, pool of money that uh, state lawmakers are hoping to get federal money to fill the gap there, to give more rent relief to tenants. The state budget may address that a bit. Um, there's certainly housing vouchers, you know, that have always been available for low-income families. Um, and again, you know, legal, legal help and attorneys who deal with housing court can connect tenants to those resources. Um, so that's really the best way to get help uh, if you're facing eviction right now.
And Rachel, maybe you said this, but if a tenant is evicted, um, but they also owe back rent, are they still liable for that back rent? That is an open question that <laughs> the folks in Albany will be dealing with going forward. Um, yes, they, the short answer is yes, um, but you know, settlements and housing court deal with how much they will pay that back and how exactly that will be dealt with. And certainly landlords and tenant groups are pushing lawmakers on all levels to boost the number of dollars available for rent arrears so that you know individuals are not going to be on the hook for that forever just because there's such a huge um, pool of back rent that's owed. It's a it's a huge societal and political problem right now in New York. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Rachel Holiday-Smith, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for your reporting. Of course. Thank you.